Hello and welcome to my video about some of the Bulgarian specials that I love to eat during the winter season. They are hearty, tasty and perfect for the cold weather. In this video I will show you how to make pickles, beef soup and cabbage rolls. When it comes to the pickles, I'm going to transform 5 kilograms of fresh vegetables into crunchy and tangy pickles that will last for months. You will need cabbage, peppers, carrots, cauliflower, celery, as well as some basic ingredients like oil, vinegar, salt, sugar and aspirin. The aspirin helps to preserve the pickles and prevent mold. So we have vinegar, oil, sugar and salt. I will explain the exact measurements and steps in the description box. We have to put the peppers together with the sugar until the sugar melts. And I'll continue cutting the other vegetables. While you're waiting for the sugar to melt, you can boil the oil, vinegar and salt to prepare the marinade. Here I have the, the oil, the vinegar, the salt and I'm going to add it in here. Once we have the aspirin dissolved, you have to add the aspirin as well. At the end you have to mix the vegetables and leave them like this for 12 hours before you can fill your jars. And here you have it, the final product of my pickle recipe. I managed to fill more than 8 jars with 5 kilograms of fresh and crunchy vegetables. You can pair the pickles with rakia, the national alcoholic beverage of Bulgaria. The second recipe I want to show you is a soup made of beef shanks. Beef shanks are a cut of meat from the lower leg of a cow that are rich in flavor and collagen. They need to be cooked for a long time to become tender and release their juices. I will use a pressure cooker to speed up the process and cook the beef shanks for about an hour. Once the meat is ready, I'm going to add some chopped onion, potatoes, carrot and celery to the pot. I will let all the ingredients simmer together until the vegetables are soft. The onion should be sliced. The onion should be sliced and slightly burnt from both sides, which means you have to fry it, but without any oil. And another important thing that gives the taste of this soup is the celery. I have, I always have some celery in the freezer. The vegetables should be cut in big chunks to retain their shape and texture in the soup. When the soup is ready, you can add some fresh parsley and a bit of lemon juice. So, this is the final result. Uh, the soup reminds me a little bit of the Irish stew, but it's not quite the same. The taste is a little bit different. Uh, because of the celery and uh, it's also a little bit more watery than the Irish stew. And this is actually the perfect soup for a cold winter day. For the third winter special, I'm going to show you how to make sarma, a dish of fermented cabbage leaves stuffed with mincemeat, onion and rice. Sarma is a traditional dish in Bulgaria and other Balkan countries and it's similar to sarma which is made with grape leaves. To make this dish you need to prepare the filling by mixing the ingredients together and seasoning them well. 
Then you have to wrap the filling in the cabbage leaves and pack them snugly in a pot so that they stay intact during the cooking time. I cook the sarma in a pressure cooker for about 50 minutes, but you can also use a normal pot and boil it for about an hour and a half. And there you go, sarma is a delicious and satisfying dish that will keep you warm and cozy in a winter day. I really enjoy to pair it with a glass of red wine. Bon appétit